This is my first kiss. He just left. <laughs> Thank you for coming back to the house. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. I am trying to attempt to vlog. This is going to be my first vlog. So not having it. I have been telling him it's time to go for the past, like, forever. So he's over it. He's ready to go. By the way, I'm doing this on my phone, so. so weird. Okay. Really? He is not. He is like, Rats, pick up. You ready, Sage? <laughs> he's looking for the airplanes. He has this thing about airplanes where he is so obsessed with them that he like looks up in the sky. <laughs> he looks up in the sky to see where the airplane is whenever he hears it above in the sky. He just like stops and stares at the sky. All right, wow, this is so awkward. <laughs> okay, I need to just loosen up a little bit. So you gotta give me a few minutes because it's still kind of like, ah. I feel very on the spot right now. Mm. Oh, I forgot his towel oh. inside the house. And I want oh. him to have something he can like play on while we're driving. Ah. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it. So I'm gonna go in the house real quick. I'm gonna pull up by the door, close to the door. And um, go grab that because your boy got to hear that. Okay, so now that he has his tablet, he's all nice and occupied now. Look how happy he looks. <laughs> um, if I didn't already say where we're going, um, I do need to stop at Target. I'm only getting a few things. I did make a list, but I don't know where I put it. It's in there somewhere, but I'm only going to get a few things. I just need some water, and Sage needs some more pull-ups, and I want to get these little tortilla wrap things because I'm going to... I'm gonna make these little wrap things for y'all that I love to make and I feel like they are my own little special recipe because I have never seen anybody else make these and I kind of feel like I kind of invented something so yeah I'm gonna be headed to Target and I will um, check in with y'all when we get there Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. Vlogging is definitely an experience you have to get comfortable with. And I think so far we're doing good, but I've always wanted to vlog because I always like watching people's vlogs. And he saw the school bus. I didn't even see it, y'all saw it? <laughs> he saw the school bus. I just saw it in my baby mirror. It's like, I've always wanted to vlog because I like watching them. But I'm like, I get so nervous in public, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna pick up the camera and just gonna try it out. Yeah, how it goes. So y'all tell me how y'all like these vlogs and if I should do more of them.
Faze always thinks we have to get a toy every time we come to the store. I have to get him a toy, something to help distract him while I'm shopping. Keep him happy. He likes fire trucks. You want a fire truck? Huh? What's the car's truck? You want a car's truck? Whoa. That'll keep him happy. So we are done with the shopping trip. He wants to open this now, but I told him that we gotta pay for it. Checking out. See you when I get to the car. I gotta save some little yeah, shit. What's wrong? Here. I want you to lose track of this. I think he did pretty good in the store, so. I try to give him little rewards when he's good instead of always having to bribe him to be good. That way he can just be good. I'm trying to think of where else we need to go. I don't know where else we need to go, Sage. Oh, oh, oh. I always get stuck on that. Okay, okay. Oh my god, you're too. You can't get all that. I'm not okay. So, yeah, um, I think I'm going to eat this. I'm actually kind of hungry. I know Sage is hungry too, even though I gave him some chips to snack on. back in the car we're gonna go grab something to eat i haven't decided what yet but i will let y'all know in a second okay so now that i'm back in the car i actually had to take a second to really think about what i want to eat and i think i figured it out and y'all are not even gonna count y'all know i'm like always at target though like that is my freaking store i do not like to shop at walmart like this video if y'all don't like to shop at walmart i don't know if that's just like me trying to me being bougie or what, but I really don't like shopping at Walmart because for one, they never have enough lanes open. Their employees always just, oh, like why, why? It's almost like they're mad at their job. They're always so mad. So, I mean, I've met some really cool people. Usually it's like the older people that'd be nice. It'd be the younger, younger employees that just be looking at you like, mm, why you got all that food? Good, let me see my family, girl. What you mean? Just pulled into our destination. I've been craving me some chips and guac. So, I have not got 
past it already. We are at Sukkaboo. Their guacamole is actually pretty mediocre, but I still eat it because it's like the only medium to me that's like super quick, super easy. And look at him, he is smashing. <laughs> it's eyes. Is it good? It's your eyes. You see my eyes? Smell like glasses. <laughs> Hi, can I just get um, two orders of your chips and guac? And one order of your cinnamon twist and one large water. All right. And that's all. You have four chips and guac. I just wanted two. Thank you. Oh boy, try to get me for that extra order. No, 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 honey. No, no, no. It's always courteous to have your money ready before you get to the window. But I'm pretty sure I asked them for a large water. This is not a large, but whatever, it'll do the job. I need to go get some gas. I always forget to get gas and I always wait to the last minute. Ugh. I hate putting gas in my own car. <laughs> Taco Bell has some of the best water ever. Hey Sage. And Cheeto fingers. So I got these cinnamon twists for Sage actually. I don't even know if I can eat them. I think I can, but I'm not sure. We oh got him. He is there. He always takes my water. I always give him a little bit and he just hijacks the whole thing. So much for sharing. Here. Those are yours. And then I got my chips and my guac. Ah, drop some of it. See, it is such a beautiful day, y'all. Today I cannot help but vlog. I'm like, I need to do something. It's so nice out. And watch tomorrow is probably gonna be like 60 degrees. People always gotta pull up next to me. I am like literally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Saw another garbage truck. Oh, that is a garbage truck. He's really obsessed. Anything that motorized vehicle, whether it's a car, a train, an airplane, a boat. Both have motors, right? Yeah. You are tired. Finally, he's getting out of his car. Y'all see him? Oh, there's somebody in that car, too. Oh my God. So we are back in the house, as y'all can see. I don't know. I'll try not to. Sage loves to come in the house and just automatically <laughs> take off all of his clothes. I don't know why. I just got on this um like square neck top. I don't know if y'all can like see that. Ooh, this mirror is dirty. Okay, so yeah, this is what the shirt looks like. 
I really like it. It's really comfortable. Of course, the sleeves don't go all the way down. They never do for me. Don't know why. This is how my shirts fit. And these jeans are from uh, decent Target, I think. So also, I need to go put that stuff up. So I do want to go and make those little hummus wraps that I was telling you about. That's why I got those tortilla wraps. So I do want to go make those for y'all. So I can see how I make those because they're super good. And it's good. Got from Target. Let's see. It's got a lot of sugar in it. Strength. Looks smart. No. <laughs> this is alcohol in it. I mean, that is strong. I'm a lightweight when it comes to alcohol. And that I'm is no be on my ass. Okay. <laughs> See what you're trying to you trying to poison me. <laughs> get some um, tortilla wraps. I don't know if these are the same ones I'm always getting, but these only contain wheat. So, if anybody was curious about that, no, they don't have milk in it. I got this turkey bacon for Sage because again, he is like, I'm weaning him off of like pork and beef and turkey and all that. So far we are only down to turkey and chicken. He doesn't like seafood and we don't give him, I don't give him pork and I don't give him beef. If y'all also hear him in there, he's watching Frozen. He acts so dramatic when he watches movies. Let's just ignore that. Say, enough. Also, I got more water. Um, I do not drink the tap water. I do not believe in drinking tap water because this shit's got all these minerals and chemicals and no, I just don't want to drink it. So um, I got some spring water instead. I'm just gonna take this knife here and just like cut a hole here. and everything up let's get started making what we came to make i don't even know like what part of the camera to look at so don't judge okay so like i said i did um forget to bring i forgot to buy some more grapeseed oil i'm all out so i should need to we're just gonna have to end up using just some plain old butter which is fine too First things first, I want to make the hummus. So, give us cans of garbanzo beans. We just need two. Actually, one would be fine, but I just got an extra one just in case because sometimes I be needing more because I don't be making the proportions right because I don't measure. I know, I know, I should measure, but I don't. So that's a pretty good amount. It's kind of has a little bit too much water in it. I like. I want it to be a little bit more on the chunky side. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that out. So yeah, like right there. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of garlic and put that in there. I should probably show y'all how much. So about like this much, about two of those. And then you wanna take some salt in there. Garlic powder. I need to get some more. And onion powder. And a little bit of black pepper. You 
usually I will go and I will also add in some grapeseed oil, but of course I don't have any more. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this butter, just a little bit of it. And it'll help keep like the creamy texture that I like with my hummus. Hopefully. <laughs> So as y'all can see, this is like the consistency that I pretty much like it to be. Not too creamy, but not too chunky. I kind of like it to be, like this is like the perfect texture. So if you want to, you can also add spinach to this um, mixture before you blend it. And it'll turn green, but it's actually pretty good. I tried it before. I dropped a little bit on my counter. And um, yeah, y'all should try it that way too, because it's pretty good. It helps you get more of your vegetables in, which is always a good thing. So now we're gonna take these. Okay, so now I have pulled out my cutting board and got these ready. This will be a good time to turn on the fire. Before this gets too buttery and too melty, I want to get it in there. Just going to take our hummus and take a nice good like tablespoon if you can. And I take about this much and put it on there. And then kind of like circle it like a pizza. And it'll give you an idea about how much that you need. That's why I don't measure because... I don't know, I feel like it's different every time. Sometimes I want more, sometimes I want less. So you don't want to get it directly on the edges. You want to leave some space. And then you just want to take it and then just tuck it and roll. Just roll it all the way up. And then place that in your pan like that. Still got a little bit left in there. Not as much as I thought, actually. One can can make about eight serving of these. I like to use my tongs. I would use a one, one without the metal, but I don't own any ones without the metal. So we're just gonna be using these today. Just make sure don't scratch your pan. first so I'm gonna have to flip those ones first. What y'all see there is a little burning. That's from the hummus. Some of the hummus that like, spilled out of the side. That's why I was saying you don't want to put it all the way on the end because it will spill out like that and burn the pan. <laughs> so yeah try not to do that. I'm gonna give those a few more minutes and then I'm gonna split those ones as well. But like, once these ones are done I'm take them out. Sage what happened? You left us. Me. Okay, so I think they're about done. I'm going to get a plate here. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of parsley and I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. Normally, I would top these with butter as well, but because I cooked them with butter, there's so much butter already in it. 
I'm actually not gonna add any additional butter to the top, but usually I would just like glaze some butter on there. So this is the final product. Like I said, usually I would um, put some like glaze of butter on there just to like finish it off. But this is usually what they look like. I kind of like them have like that golden brown look. Now I have tried these, tried to like rush through it one time and each one without cooking it and it does not taste the same so if you really want to eat them raw you can but i'm telling you it does not taste the same and it's not nearly as good as if you cook it with the hummus in there rather than just wrapping it up and eating it so while those cool down um, i just went to go take that hat off because i don't know why but that hat is always giving me like this weird bruise every time i wear it i don't know why I don't, it's like it can't be that it's too tight because it's literally on the loosest setting. It doesn't feel tight. It just always leaves that behind. But I wanted to show you all this um, brow pencil. I got it the other day. It's, what is it? Ooh, I'm y'all all up in my cabinets. <laughs> it is the NYX Professional Makeup Precision Brow Pencil. It actually, this is without any concealer. I don't know how it would look if I put concealer, but let's go, let's go see. I guess I could try it out. All right, so, truth be told, I have this, <laughs> I have this um, headband on because honestly, my wig is not laid and I have time for that. So, I'm just going to use my uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer, concealer and my little concealer brush it needs to be clean but yeah i don't even have on any makeup today most days i really don't wear makeup y'all like my skin is actually kind of sensitive and i don't want to be putting makeup on every single day i wear it when i'm about to go out or if i'm about to make like a really nice youtube video and i usually don't even wear it all the time then when i'm about to like film i just be like if i feel like it i do if i don't then i don't yeah, I think it looks a lot better with the concealer on there instead. It's great. Now it's time to taste our food. So okay guys so about an hour or so has passed i took the wig off because it was just doing too much and i ain't got time for that so i'm about to um snack on some chips here i did go ahead and pick up some hours tonight because i have some plans coming up y'all i got some in interesting important fun plans coming up that i want to do you know, if there's something that you want to do just go for it. like if there's something that you want like for me personally i feel like there's nothing in this world that i want that i can't have if i'm willing to work for it you know what i'm saying so it's about 5 p.m now sage didn't end up going to sleep he ended up staying up so it's about 5 p.m now he's spending some time with his daddy right now so i'm actually about to get ready to go to sleep i'm probably gonna get up around like 9 45 10 ish and get ready to go to work okay you guys so i actually just woke up it is 9 51 i believe i have to be gone be out of here before 10 30 10 35 ish mm. and now traffic is 10.35 at the latest, but 10.30 is when I plan to be gone. Um, put on this wig, and I'm probably going to put it in a ponytail because I don't want to wear my hair down at work. I'm looking for my ponytail holder. I just had it. Okay, so it's actually just in the closet. I'm just going to put my hair up in a little ponytail here. Yeah, I'm just gonna wear it like this to work. By the way, I do have a review on my channel on this hair. It's actually really pretty when it's down and when it's in a ponytail. I did shower before I lay down. 
And I just threw this crop top on. So, and by the way, I laid down like four hours ago. So, not dirty. Anyways, this is the deodorant I like to use. This is the Tom's deodorant. Um, I was using Schmidt's, and they're horrible. <laughs> I just made my bed um it's about seven i mean seven ten oh five i think and i'm just about to put my socks on i like to have my socks matching i am like 22 years old and i still like my socks match i know people be like oh my god when you get older does it matter anymore if your socks match no my it matters to me it matters to me big time and no i'm not gonna change my shirt so it's a crop top no one's gonna see it <laughs> but no one's gonna know i have on a crop top at all which won't even matter because it doesn't matter <laughs> Vaseline on my lips. I'm only going to put this on because my lips are kind of wet. But usually I'd be wearing this. This is from my local beauty supply store. It's called NK Makeup Lip Gloss and it has vitamin E in it. That's what I really love about it. It's the fact that it has vitamin E so it doesn't give me, like, it actually makes my lips feel moisturized. It just, yeah, I love how it's not like sticky. You know, that sticky gloss, I hate sticky gloss. I was like, girl, why do you still have that crop top? Because <laughs> listen, I'm not going to take, <clears throat> I'm not going to take the jacket off. I have no reason to take the jacket off. Okay, y'all, so I just got to work. Um, it's actually kind of early. It's not even um, 10.50 yet, which I don't have to clock in until 11 o'clock, and it takes me like three minutes to walk in. And I don't like to go in super early because I actually cannot punch the clock until 10.53 anyways. So I don't like to go in like super early just to just like stand around because I'm like, I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> I'm only gonna go over there for the moment I'm getting paid to go over there. And it's like, no, let me step back and bougie. But still, I just gotta switch my shoes because I do not wear my work shoes in my house. Oh, I did bring that Pop Tart. I don't know if y'all, I didn't show y'all me eating it, but I brought a Pop Tart and I brought some milk, which I drank it all now on the way here. But I don't know if I need anything else to eat because I'm kind of full full now so one thing i make sure i have is my glasses for one i don't know if anybody knows this about me but i actually have an eye condition um called what is it i don't know if it's called convergence deficiency or some shit i don't know it's something about it's something where like if um like if i'm reading something or if i'm looking at something for too long like the the image will start to split kind of like double vision but it's like sometimes it'll split sometimes it'll hover sometimes it'll look like it's floating um one time i was looking at my grandfather and there was like two of his faces and like for me it always was like a normal thing like i never thought there was any never thought anything of it until i got older and i went to this actually the doctor who prescribed me these glasses 
um, I went to Costco. That's where I, um, he tested me and he did this little test on me. He was like, how many A's do you see? I was like, two. I thought, oh, I got it right. Because I'd be thirsty to get it right. So um, they don't try to make me seem like there's something wrong with my eyes. But I got it wrong. And they told me about it. I was like, oh, shit, I didn't even know. So he put a prism on my glasses. Um, obviously, y'all can't see it. But if you kind of, like, angle it at the light a little bit, you can see the prism, the lights reflecting off of it um, to help balance my vision because i have like kind of like a lazy eye i guess you would call it it's like the muscles in your eye one of your eyes don't want to work as hard so they'd be like eh i'm chilling i'm not about to i'm not about to help out today so that's why the image probably looking the way it do I have my glasses make sure i have my earphones i keep my earphones in my pocket i think i'm going to bring this book tonight to read if i have time put that in my purse and I like to have some tea because I do like to drink tea. I'm not a coffee drinker. I actually don't drink coffee at all. I love the smell of it, though. It smells good, but I don't drink it. So, yeah, I'm about to um, put my earphones in and walk in here. All right, you guys. I will see y'all in about eight hours when my shift is over. Okay, y'all, so I'm fresh off of work. It's about 7.40-ish, I think. I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 7.45 or something like that. But I'm actually finally going to go get gas. So I'm going to go do that this morning. And then I'm going to go home. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog. It's already long enough. I started editing it last night and I'm like, oh my god, I didn't realize how long this freaking vlog was already. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog, you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my flirt. Ooh, I'm always getting so tongue-tied. Thank you so much for tuning <clears throat> into my first vlog. I really enjoyed it. There will definitely be more vlogs coming soon. I got a couple of things planned that I think I want to go ahead and vlog anyways. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go home. Actually, I'm going to go get some gas first. We need, like, literally need to go get that done. Go get gas, then I'm going to go head home and get some rest. And I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check me out on my social medias, my Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. Mostly Instagram. That's really mostly where I'd be at or be like um active on is my Instagram so yeah just make sure you guys check me out on there and yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye